Here I want to talk about how to sort and use custom filters as well as the column filters, otherwise known as, known as quick filters. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So in order to sort a column, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just go ahead and just click the very top column there and you can sort. Now we also have multi-column sorting. So let's say for example, you want to sort by rating and all the, the you see there's uh, five ratings. I got, what, 992 items in here. I did a big long search for the word shirt on Etsy. But first I'm gonna sort here. Now if you hold down your shift key and you sort another column, it'll sort the items within all the five ratings just got sorted. So, so within the five ratings, I can see this is the one that has the largest shipping, price plus shipping. So you can do a multi-sort as well. It's pretty awesome. Then you can use the handy little quick filters here. So whatever you want to do, like uh, if you want to come over here and you want to search the titles, so you click here and you start typing. And as you type, it'll just go ahead and filter all of them really fast. You see how fast that is? It does it as it types. So you know, there's nearly a thousand items in there. And you can come over here and search by price. You can do the number columns will show up like this and they give you a set of predefined quick filters. Now, if you're not satisfied with what you see in here, you want to try something else, you can always manually do it up here. So let's see, you want to see less than $35. You can apply like that. You can also clear out columns. And you have almost filters on each and every column. Now, there's also an option to use custom filters. And to use custom filters, you just go down here and click the filters button and it brings up this filter window where you can define your own custom filters. So you can come in here and you can select whatever you want. So let's say for example, the um, uh, say price, I want it to be less than $30. Now you can go apply. And as you use quick filters as well, they'll automatically just show up in there. You can see them here. Oh, sorry. And another thing you can do is you can save your custom filters to a custom filter file. So check this out. You go save, and then you can save it to your computer. And let's go and just clear out the filters here. And let's say we have a large piece of data and we have a certain filters we always love using. We can go open and you can open that filter file and apply. And there's another way to do that as well. So if you clear out the filters here, you can also go right click, filters, load filter file. And as soon as you load it, boom, it does it for you. Pretty awesome. So that's another way to do filters. And the custom filters, and filters are all in all the tools. So in the keyword generator tool, product search, the uh, shop search, and the shop analyzer all have their own sets of filters. And you can actually see them. So if you have the filter window open, and it will kind of stay over top all the time. Let's say we have some filters here. So we did that one there. And this is the product search. But as soon as you move over to the, say the shop search, it'll automatically update. Now we're on the shop search, and if we have a filter in here, you'd see it. So if you go back to the product search, let me bring this open here, product search, and you'll see it change to the filters in that one, and then the filters in the shop search, shop analyzer, and each of each data grid will have its own set of filter files. So the filter file for a product search is different than the filter file for a shop search. It's simply because the data within these grids is different than the data in the product search. And same with the shop analyzer. This data grid's a little bit different than the other one, so it has its own filter file as well. It's actually quite easy to use, pretty self-explanatory, and uh, it's a really nice way to get to the data you really want really fast by using custom filters.